What is up, everybody? Welcome back to Spin Tires Mud Runner. And we are playing the American Wilds DLC, and basically we're going to test it out. Now, I already went into Grizzly Creek. I did not really do anything in there. I just kind of jumped in, looked at it, and oh my god. It really looks so much better now. So, uh, as for vehicles that we're going to go use today, testing it out. Kind of just seeing, you know, posing the question... Is it worth the ten dollars? Now, I mean, judge just just by the way everything looks, honestly, yeah. <laughs> so we're gonna pull out the F one hundred and fifty and the Western Star sixty nine hundred, and uh, we're gonna go take them out here, guys. It's uh, it, the game looks honestly so much. <clears throat> Excuse me, sorry about that. The game just looks so much more alive now. Now, granted, I am on low graphics because I kind of have a potato laptop, but most of you subscribers already know that. Uh, just figured I'd put that out there for anybody that's coming to the channel and is new. Now, just look at that. It just looks amazing already. Now, I will go here uh, and I'll show you guys what it looks like on full graphics because I can do that. It will lag a little bit. Uh, but, yeah, I'll just turn it so it doesn't do too much lagging for you guys. It looks absolutely amazing. The game looks just brilliant. So we're going to go ahead and, uh, before we set off here, I'll change, turn the settings back down here. And, uh, yeah, I figure we'll set off in the, uh, truck and just kind of see what happens. Because I don't have my dev tools, I couldn't spawn. <clears throat> I can't spawn, you know, all the vehicles in. Uh, and just kind of show off all the vehicles at once. So uh, this will probably be a few different part video put together. And this will be kind of the first little part. And, uh, honestly, I feel like the game's running a lot smoother on my computer too. Even in my recording, uh, it looks a lot better over there. And it's not, you know, making things go crazy. Um, really don't know. We got, there is a good amount of road here, actually. Uh, we got the, oh, wow, there's another 6900. I should have not brought that one then, because it's over there. There's the skitter. Um, and we have the Freightliner over here. And, ooh, what else? Oh, the F-150. Wow. I really chose the wrong cars to bring here. Uh, but since we're here, we'll go down here and uh, we'll go to the skitter. I got me an actual uh, controller that's not a PS3 controller. It's a 360 controller to play with. So uh won't have any jank shit going on, which is really the reason you guys haven't seen any videos for spin tires lately. It's just because the PS3 controller was jank as fuck. And of course, this thing has, you know, pretty much street tires on it, so the mud gets it a little bit. This is just amazing. Even the inside view looks good in this thing. Like this. Honestly, guys, if you're on the fence for getting the American Wilds DLC, I've not even played it five minutes, and honestly, I say it's worth the $10 that you have to pay. As it is an actual expansion pack, it does do a quite a bit to the game. Uh, even if you don't buy it, you still get an update for the game, and I don't know what that update does, so if anybody has not bought the DLC, uh, be sure to kind of let me know what what changes in the game without you actually buying it. Uh, I'm actually a little curious to know that one, so uh, maybe you guys can help me out with that one. Ooh. This is awesome. This this map's pretty cool, too, Grizzly Creek. It, uh, this, this is me going into this without having ever actually watched anything other than, you know, reveal, the, the truck reveal stuff for uh, the uh, American Wilds DLC, or expansion pack, I should say. Uh, so, I mean, yeah, I, I never really watched anything but just them showing the vehicles. Like, I knew what vehicles were coming, and that's about it. I think uh, we're on the wrong road, maybe. No, no, we're good. We didn't pass the road yet. It's up here. Which we could take the actual trail, but let's uh, do a little fun here. Yeehaw! Oh, God. 
Oh, three. I forgot this has like no damage at all allowed for it. It's okay. We got repair points. Uh, honestly, I'm just not used to uh, not having my tools. Usually, I can just refill stuff if I wreck. So uh, we'll have to do a little bit of a easy going driving. Well, not really easy going driving, but a little bit safer driving uh, with this thing. Oh, it's pretty cool. I never noticed. Wait, is that? Did that happen before, guys? Because I only ever really used modded vehicles on the game. Uh, did the spare tire always disappear if you used it? It doesn't do that on... Uh... Or, well, then again, I've, I just used the dev tools too much. So even if it did, I really would never would have noticed. This map's got a lot of mud on it. That's pretty cool. It's definitely a nice little map here. And I know the other map is a scavenge map, I believe. And that's, like, all you can really do on the map. Alright, so we're over here at the uh, skitter here. So we can jump in it, test it out. It's got a crane attachment on it already, so that's cool. It articulates and everything. So we'll, uh... uh yeah, we'll just keep heading this way. Because I kind of want to make it to the garage over here. So we'll uh, kind of head that way. We'll go back. Actually, we'll go through here. Yeah, we'll go through here. We'll take this way. And we'll take the skitter just to have a little bit of fun with it. Test it out. Bye-bye fence. Yeehaw. Now, I don't, I'm not really experienced with the crane on the game. Like, I, I messed with a little bit, but not a whole, whole lot. But this thing is ripping, dude. This, <laughs> let's go for a rip, bud. <laughs> let's go for a rip in me new skeeter. He's, he's amazing, bud. It's amazing. It just absolutely rips through the mud. These big old tractor tires. Sorry if that's cringy for you guys. That's my uh, Canadian accent. Oh, God, I looked over. Oh man, that's deep water right there, man. And then I go to Cletus, because why not? I was kind of a little, uh, pretty much told that I should do this voice more for the channel by somebody that don't even watch my videos. <laughs> it was pretty funny. But, uh, yeah, I might try to do that every now and then, guys. Just kind of, kind of go into random voices and shit. Kind of like Spears, man. But, uh, you know not like trying to copy him or anything it's just I like doing voices man it's funny I could do all types of them some of them are kind of bad though yeah. others are all right all right let's throw her in high here bud let's see if she'll fucking rip through the water in the mud Ooh, it's deep it's deep over here again man I think all of these puddles over here are gonna be a little deep Oh, he's a castaway, guys. If you guys haven't already, you guys should definitely go check out Castaway's channel. He, he does a lot of spin tires videos. A lot better quality. He can actually record everything in 1080p. And all that nice, lovely shit. Uh, I'll leave a link to his channel, actually, down in the description if you guys want to go check him out. Me and him are going to do, like, uh, you know, some Mud Runner together. Uh, I'll see if he can stream. Because me, I, I seem to have a lot of issues recording multiplayer for spin tires, but... Okay! Uh, I, I have issues recording Mud Runner multiplayer. And I don't know if it's just because I use Discord while I'm doing it or, or not. But it likes to lag a lot. And it's just pretty much unwatchable. But, uh, definitely if he, uh, he can stream or anything, you know, I might get him to see if he, he wants to, like, stream some Mud Runner multiplayer. And I'll definitely let you guys know through my subscriptions tab. As well as I'll probably, like, post a little video or something to let you guys know, hey, we're over here, you know, streaming and stuff. And I don't think we're getting through this. But you know what? Oh, well, no, I don't really because then it loses its garage points, and I don't want to lose garage points on it. 
Alright, let's fucking rip, bud. We'll push through these trees. We'll push through the little, uh, little trees here. There we go. Push the skid around through these motherfucking trees, man. Fucking ripping on through the fucking wilderness and shit. Oh, that's actually a pretty cool inside view. I can see my tires, man. They sexy as hell, them big old tractor tires. I want to put them on a Jeep, man. <laughs> put some tractor tires on a Jeep. <laughs> uh, maybe if uh, any of you guys are, you know, anybody watching is like a mod, a mod maker, you know. Hey, tractor tire friggin' Jeep, bud. It'll be fucking epic. I'll rip it around all day. Oh yeah, extreme off-roading with a friggin' skitter, man. All right, so we're wow. There's a lot of scavenge points over here. All right, so let's make it to the freight liner over here. There we go. Okay. Yeah, let's make it to the freight liner over there uh, with this vehicle. We'll just back on down here and we'll take the road over. And, uh, I don't know, it might actually be a few part video. Like, I'll do, uh, or, uh, we'll, we'll get in the Freightliner, we'll drive it a little bit, guys. And then, uh, you know, it'll, it'll be kind of like a skip in the video, but you guys will know about it before it happens. And then it'll, uh, pretty much be, be me testing out the other vehicles. And I'll probably take them out to uh, my map or something. Or to the other map! No! Oh. Battery, battery powered winch no work. Shit. Alright, fuck it. No, oh, something's blocking the area. That sucks. Alright, so let's uh. Jump back over here, guys. Actually, you know what? We'll jump into the Western Star uh, just because we actually haven't driven it yet, guys. So for this, obviously, we have quite a bit of uh, stuff we can choose from. Ooh. Wait, wait, wait. Let me pull this forward a little bit here. This thing's sexy, man. All right, so we actually have a flatbed semi-trailer that comes stock on it. A fuel cistern, fuel trailer, a loader, obviously, log carriage, log cart hitch. Uh, we'll go with the trailer hitch on it. Medium log cart, that looks pretty cool, actually. Wait, did they... Look, a lot of stuff is different now, guys. Honestly, this, this, D, this expansion pack honestly is worth it guys if you haven't already you, you should definitely go buy this so we're gonna take the flatbed trailer with us and uh, we'll pick up the Ford oh yeah I, I really feel like the game runs honestly a lot smoother than it did before uh, and it, it even looks better it really does like it just it looks a little bit better and we got this thing stuck what the hell did I just do all right, man. I shouldn't be getting things stuck. Oh, that's my trailer. Oh. There we go. I uh, nothing happened, guys. I I don't know what you're talking about. I didn't do anything. <coughs> All right, we gotta pull this off here. This is actually pretty cool. We got like. They, they built in like a little town here, man. That's that's honestly really cool. It's even got speed limit signs. Um, I wonder if the, the stuff... I don't know. I've never actually, you know... Well, you guys know I got the game like not too, too long ago. Um, but I wonder if uh, all these objects are automatically in the uh, editor or not. It'd be pretty cool if they were. 
Um, so the full, oh gosh, we're going the wrong way. Oh no, we're not. Well, sort of. Uh, do we want to go get the forward? Kind of do, but at the same time, I just kind of want to pull this trailer. It's pretty cool. It's a quad axle trailer. This inside view is badass. Ooh. It's not damage everything. All right, there we go. This thing's sexy, dude. We got to try the other vehicles out as well. Um, I think we'll actually pull them here because there's road here. Oh, I gotta remember that these trucks don't turn on a dime like a lot of the mod trucks do. It's also a big truck, so it's not. Definitely not. Alright. We got this, man. Well, yeah, this road. This is actually pretty cool because this road literally leads around pretty much the whole map. That's pretty cool. See, I don't, I don't really know, I don't know, I think the uh, mud part being on the road itself is kind of weird. Because, I mean, yeah, you'd get, like, mud streaks and stuff on the road, but it just doesn't look very realistic to me, having that mud texture on the road. Nah, we won't go extreme trucking. I just thought about it, too. I was like, should we go extreme trucking? No, we shouldn't do extreme trucking yet. <laughs> Save that for another video, guys. So, uh, from here, guys, I, I I think I've shown you guys enough of this truck. So, uh, wow, that's a cool sign, actually. So, uh, I'm going to go ahead and skip from here, and uh, I'll see you guys as soon as I get over there to the other truck. Alright guys, so never mind. Oh, my trailer got detached. I did not realize that the Ford LT whatever was over here. So we're going to jump in it. Look at that flex, bro. We're flexing over here. Alright, stop my engine. Change my truck. We'll change over to this truck. It's already got the uh, logging stuff on it. So we'll just go ahead and keep that on here. That's fine. We'll see how, how it handles going over there. It's pretty cool. I did not realize that the forward truck was uh, over here on the map. Water over road? <laughs> That's cool. Alright, we're, we're just going to go through it. And, uh... Oh, wrong thing. I meant to detach the trailer. Alright. Let's take our rear wheel drive truck, man. Crash right through the sign. Oh, God. <laughs> that ain't no joke right there. I thought that would be kind of, you know, not insane. I'm going to low gear and I can just kind of feather the throttle a little bit, get out of it. There we go. That's pretty cool. That is awesome. They really did a lot of work on this map, guys. And it's it runs smooth as hell. I mean, I guess that's what you would expect from, you know, a stock spin tires map, I suppose. But, yeah, it's uh, pretty fucking awesome, man. No, it's not this road, okay. I don't know, it, keep, it looked like a road, even though it's not a road. We're not very far from the uh, thing, and this is the road we gotta take. Turn, motherfucker! Yeehaw! Through the mud! Oh, don't hit the tree! There we go! Fling that thing around, because we ain't hauling no logs today! Not today, son! Not today! We ought to have some fun! Keep it going, power through it, power through it! There we go! Yeah, buddy! Wait, did I mark the wrong? No, I didn't. Yeah, that's the other freight line. Cool, cool, cool. What's the got? Oh, it's got logs on it too. Okay. All right, should we should we haul logs? I don't know. Should we? 
I mean, we could. I don't think I need another trailer or anything for this. This is pretty cool looking now. I can all short logs. Three points. Why not? It'll, uh... Where do I even have to go to take these? Garage, Western Star. Oh, Lumber Mill. Oh, they're both by each other, too. That's cool. And they're not too far away. Uh, so, yeah, we'll take back out on here onto the main road. Since we are in a Freightliner. And, uh... I know this has a bunch of add-ons, and it can be like a dump truck and stuff like that, which is really badass. You know, this game really, it just, it's so much more alive now, guys. I really feel like it's so much more alive. I hope that's not just a thing with these maps, either. So we'll definitely have to check in a little bit. Uh, but I'm going to go ahead and uh, do a little cut here, guys. And uh, we'll get back to you guys once we uh, get a little bit closer. Because as you can see, this is going to be a little bit of a trek just getting out of here with this rear-wheel drive vehicle. Not too hard, though. But yeah, see you guys in just a second. Alright, guys. So we still have a little bit of a ways to go. Uh, but I figured I'd pop it back in here and uh, to kind of say, you know, this this really feels like a genuine American, you know, I mean, that's cliche as fuck to say because, fuck. All right, it's not dead. Uh, considering it is, uh, God, that's going to be so annoying. Uh, considering it is American Wilds, but this really does feel like a genuine American, you know, fucking logging right here. Genuinely feels like legitimate American logging. Sorry if the uh, truck is a little bit loud for you guys at this point. Um, you know, we're kind of just a little, a little fucked up. So I'll see you guys as soon as we get over there to the uh, log station. Alright guys, uh, we're back. It honestly hasn't been that long. It, do it doesn't really take long to drive down the highway. Uh, but we're here at kind of like the last stretch. It's like 244 meters, but it's off-road uh, from here on out. So I figured we would show this, show you guys how good this truck does. Even being rear-wheel drive and damage like a mofo. Since we are in casual, the, the damage doesn't really affect the uh, power or anything of the truck, which is good. Because otherwise we'd be fucked. Uh, but figure we'll show you guys how, how good it is off-roading. Uh, it might be a little bit loud as we're on the inside here. But I uh, just wanted to do a little bit of it. Throw this in the one plus here. And it'll just kind of... I mean it does a lot of wheel spin but it's kind of eating it up. So we'll go ahead and throw it into uh, just, you know, one three. However you want to call it, low three. And uh, cruise a little bit here. Honestly, it doesn't do too bad. Off-roading. Um, I mean, obviously, we're not in, like, super deep mud or anything. I'm sure we'll hit a little bit of mud here, like, deeper mud. But even without that, we're still doing uh, pretty good. Pretty, pretty good. So there's two ways we can go. Oh, wait, no, that's not an actual trail. Never mind. All right. One way we can go. <laughs> Uh, so I don't know if, uh, you know, Cast the Way uh, is going to get the American Wilds DLC or not. Hopefully he does. Sorry about that noise. That is my phone's alarm going off. Uh, but hopefully he gets it and we can do, like, some actual, you know, multiplayer logging or something for, like, a video. I think that'd be pretty cool. Um, and, of course, I could try to record it and it might actually work properly if we're on, like, you know, map like this. You can just, like, stock vehicles and stuff. Because I'm sure he's going to want to do, if he does buy it, I'm sure he's going to want to do a video on it as well. As I'm sure there's probably, you know, a thousand other 
American Wilds DLC videos out there, but I felt like playing it. I felt like bringing it to you guys, even though it's, you know, roughly a half hour long video, a little bit more. Still pretty damn good. And we're here at the lumber mill finally. Hell yes. There are two of them and they're all, they're both right next to each other, but that's cool because it's a legitimate lumber mill. It's pretty badass. Alright, so we got down here no problem. We can unload that. Fuck yes. And uh, I will uh, see you guys in just a minute. I'm going to go get the... Uh, go on to the other map and I'm going to pull out the other vehicles and we're going to go test those out. So uh, stay tuned, guys. Alright, guys. So we're out here at Mount Longmire and uh, I pulled out the K5 Blazer and the Hummer H1. I was hoping, god damn it, I, I was hoping one of the other vehicles was going to pop out, pop in, but it didn't, uh, so we're going to do a quick little overview, <sighs> excuse me again, we're going to do a quick little overview of these two, this has a few little add-ons for it, we're going to do a little bit of testing of it, I like this new garage, excuse me again, sorry, I like this new garage, it's pretty cool. Uh, but we're out at Mount Longmire, and we're going to take the Hummer out H1 and the uh, K5 Blazer, and we're going to test them a little bit. And then I'm going to cut again and uh, go pull out uh, in another map one of those other vehicles. The uh, oh god, don't don't do it. All right, the uh, I can't remember the name of it, but it's uh, it, it's another one of the like utility kind of vehicles, like crane or whatever. I'll figure it out and uh, show you guys it. This Hummer's pretty cool, actually. Uh, I mean, obviously we do have mods for a Hummer H1 already, as well as we have mods for a K5 Blazer that are probably much better than, well, are a little bit better than the uh, stock ones. But for being a stock spin tires vehicle, this Hummer H1 is quite amazing. Uh, you know, especially when comparing it to the modded, uh, well, the you know, yeah, the mods of the Hummer H1, uh, it it actually does a good amount of justice for it. Truck entrance, so American. America, fuck yeah. <laughs> Legit, America, fuck yeah. Oops. No. Oh no. I did it. I broke. I fucked their bud. You know what? Fuck it. Whatever. I broke it. Uh, I don't really want to do a whole lot of testing with these. That startup though. Hold up. Hold up. Hold up. I gotta turn this up for you guys. Hold on. That's. That's. Y'all gotta hear this. It is going to be a little bit loud, so if you're a headphone user, you might want to turn your uh, game down or your volume down just a bit. Ooh, it's sexy. And then it's nice and quiet. God. Damn, this thing sounds beautiful. All right, let's throw some things on it. Uh, we got the bumper, which is all right looking. Uh, we'll go ahead and throw the light bar on there too. The repair slides, the roof trunk, and the spare wheel because why not? And uh, let's go, man. Oh wait, let me turn this down a little bit. I'm not gonna turn it down too much. I can see where the uh, sound level is at over there to turn it down right about here should still be a great sound for you guys and uh, it's a great sound for me it's beautiful man the inside view is pretty good I mean obviously it's a stock spin tires model so it's not as crazy you know detailed as uh, you know like Spun's K5 or Nix's K5 but it's honestly doing pretty decent guys it is doing pretty decent. Obviously, it's only got 300 damage, uh, which is kind of shit, but, you know, hey, that's how spin tires is, man. 
Really wouldn't be able to take too much damage on these anyways, but, you know, in the modding community, uh, the thing is, you know, you kind of want to have a good amount so you don't just crash yourself. And we got another skitter over here uh, with the crane attachment, of course, at the log station. Let's throw this baby in high. Yeah, buddy. Ooh. Oh. High gear got me stuck. Oh, really? Are we stuck here? Maybe it's just that tree. Yeah, I think it's just that tree there. There we go. It's a nice little thumbnail there. Actually, a better thumbnail. Uh, it might be a little bit laggy for you guys for like just a second, but trust me, it'll be worth it. There we go. There we go, baby. I look sexy as shit, man. Alright, I'm going to turn my settings back down real quick. And then, uh... Yeah. So, uh, the, the Chevy's pretty damn good, guys. Uh, honestly, most of the vehicles on, the, on here are pretty badass. Uh, for being stock spin tires vehicles, obviously. So, we're going to leave this sitting here in the water. And, uh, see you guys in just a second as we pull out the last, uh, two vehicles that we have not tried yet. The, uh, last vehicles we have to test out are the K900 Forwarder and the Chevy Bison, and we're going to, I'm going to give you guys a sneak peek of Frog's Creek as we do this, because with the uh, two new maps, you cannot actually choose the forwarder, which I find weird because I did not see the forwarder on either of the two maps. Uh, so that's kind of jank, in my opinion. But you know, hey, I didn't make the game. And my map is pretty cool, uh, as you guys see over here. Even my map honestly looks a little bit better uh, on this new update. However, it, I feel like what really got the best facelift was the stock map. Uh, or the uh, stock maps. So we're going to go ahead and uh, throw something up here on the on the bison. It, it's weird. It keeps telling me it's not suitable for off-road. Like, um, okay. That's a cool story, bro, but I don't care. <laughs> so this basically has the same attachments as the other ones. Uh, so we're just going to throw a trailer hitch on here. And uh, we'll, we'll actually we'll, we'll pull the fuel semi-trailer. Because why not? And uh, yeah, we'll take it on the road a little bit. And we'll hit a little bit of the off-road uh, on my map where I know it can uh, access a little bit of which isn't a whole lot on my map because uh, this map is a trail map but honestly even my map is running smoother uh, now that the game has been updated so that's pretty fucking awesome I really like the new new uh, trailers I wonder if they're on all the vehicles or if these are specific to the new vehicles that are in game all right, so I got this bridge here. Don't mind the weird textures. I need to figure out how to fix that. Uh, they kind of fucked off. So we'll get a little bit of off-roading here over some really odd terrain. But, ooh, we're getting stuck in the mud already. This thing is stuck already, guys. But that is my map problem, I think. Wrong way. I think it's just that hole right there that I have. There we go. No, it just does not like anything that's not road. 
apparently. Or something. <laughs> That's a little bit of sadness, guys. That's okay. Uh, we haven't done a whole full test on this vehicle just yet. The tires look fucked, but I think that's because I don't have the sharpening effect on, which I believe actually makes the, the stock tires look a lot better. Like I said uh, earlier, if you guys like skipped around in the video, I am on, running on like low graphics, uh, just for the best recording uh, with the least amount of lag that I can, because I have a potato. <laughs> I have a potato! It's my potato, and I love it! It does what I want. But yeah, my map's pretty cool, guys. Um, it's it's not released yet. It is unreleased, in case you guys are wondering. But uh, yeah, that's pretty cool. This it's a pretty cool map, and I'm I'm still working on it. Trailer detached because legitimacy, right there. There we go. Alright, we got that reattached. Brakes. Alright, we're gonna see how it handles having the trailer full of gasoline. Ooh, she's a little, sh little, little bit not struggling. <laughs> oh. Alright, so here is where we see if it's any good off-road. Because this isn't really mud over here, and uh, it's not got a bunch of fucked up shit. I mean, it's mud over here, it's just not very odd terrain. So I think it was just my ditch over there that caused this not to go nowhere, which means it's not going to be good off-roading at all, really. So we'll uh, do a little bit of the... Really? I hope not too much of the game was lagged because it said my encoder was overloaded for a second there. That's fucking awesome, man. Come on, truck. Okay, nope, it ain't going nowhere. Alright, we're gonna swap to the forwarder real quick, guys. Uh, oh, yeah. So this can have a fuel trailer, the loader medium log trailer or a utility trailer. We'll throw the loader on it just for shits and giggles. Uh, you can not throw all-wheel drive and look at that articulation mine. Hell yeah. So we'll take this on some actual off-roading here on my tr on my map. Uh, and we'll just go down here a little bit and we'll take this road right here. Actually, you know what? We'll, we'll stay on the highway here. I have a better little trail that this will be good on. This is a pretty cool little area I have down here, which is uh, kind of flooded out. So let's throw it in one plus. is isn't very fast, but it's uh, obviously got some fire there, too. Got a little flooded area out here. It looks pretty damn awesome, if you ask me. I need to change the color of the water here, though, obviously, because it's blue, and blue water is just not legit at all. Alright, it's going to creep through the water and the mud, because there's a lot of mud over here. Come on there. You got this, truckster. Oh, I turned off all-wheel drive. My bad, guys. My bad, I made the, made the forwarder look like shit for a second there. Alright, got all-wheel drive on, and we'll just crawl on up it now. We're good to go. Oh yeah, look at all that articulation. Wow, that is loud in my ear. Oh shit, I forgot we have a different ped. Look at that. We got a grizzled logger. Oh, Willie, Willie Pete logging man. He's a hard, hard American trucker man. He don't do nothing but drink coffee and log all day long. That's pretty cool, actually. At least the guy looks legitimate now. He looks like somebody that should be behind the wheel of big-ass trucks. The other guy looked young as shit, like he was just not meant to be there. 
So, I mean, obviously the forwarder has its, you know, setbacks as far as, uh, you know, turning because it really cannot turn worth a fuck, but it's a forwarder and pretty much all the turning is articulation. It's not, none of the tires actually turn. It's just an articulating cab or articulating, uh, well, yeah, cab. You can call it articulating cab. It's pretty awesome. This is pretty badass, guys. It's pretty, pretty badass. I'm sure this thing would rip up on the actual American Wilds map if you could do such a thing with the forwarder, which, yeah, I would like to have done that. Alright. So we'll, we'll hit this other little off-roading spot up over here. Because uh, this is a little bit more rough terrain that I have uh, picked out. And, you know, kind of done up over here. Not too insane, but it is a little bit. A little bit more than it was. Oh, yeah. She's a climbing there, bud. She's a climbing. Yeah, buddy. This is a beast of a vehicle right here. Especially if you were actually going to log with this thing. Oh, man. That's insane. Ooh, this is too sharp of a corner to make with it. Wrong way. Meant to be in reverse. Oh, shit. Oh, can we get out of this, though? I doubt it, but can we get out of this? Camera's going jank as shit. Oh, no, we're not getting out of this, guys. Alright, so I, uh, I, I hope you guys did enjoy this video. I know it's a bit long. Uh, it's like 51 and a half minutes of raw footage. And probably cut down. It's going to be like 40 minutes or so like that. But I hope you guys did enjoy it. Hope you guys do uh, enjoy the American Wilds DLC. I know I'm going to have a lot of fun with it. Uh, it. Gives me something new to do other than just play mods and stuff. And, uh, yeah, I hope you guys do buy it because I personally, after, you know, fully, fully testing the vehicles, you know, and checking out the maps, it is definitely worth $10. Uh, so you guys should definitely, definitely go buy it. And I will see you all in the next one. XO Froggy out.